Hello everybody, this is Southern8099 back with you uh, for today, which is going to be something I usually don't do, is uh, a how-to video. What we're going to install today is the Digitrack uh, Universal Panel, uh, the UP5, and uh, use that in conjunction with the uh, controller, uh, UT4. So, uh, what you see from left to right is the, uh, the actual panel, front panel. Uh, in the middle there you'll see the electronics and on the right is the controller. Now this is not going to be a very big job, it's just going to require a little measurement, a little cutting uh, because I want to install it a particular way to make it look good so uh, let's get busy and uh, do some installing. Okay, what we're going to do is I'm going to mount my plate right here on the side of my fascia. I've already got it uh, measured off. I'm, I'm two and a half inches wide I'm an inch and a half high, and I've already got me a pilot hole drill for my. So I'm going to cut this out so that our electronics will fit here on the back side. I'm just hoping I got enough room up here. If not, I'll have to trim some more down here. So let's drill this out and uh, get, uh, get started doing some installing. Okay, this is the touchy part, so we need to be real careful here with our skill saw and make sure we're getting our cuts just the way we need them. So I'm going to, have to slide this down a little bit because I'm getting into my, my board up here. So I'll just have to slide this down probably just a little bit. So it won't hurt us any. Let me do a little bit more measure here and we'll get that corrected and finish up with it. Okay, I've taken a box cutter and just went through kind of clean my cut out here just so they got a little bit more square and I just keep in mind this is going to be covered up so it doesn't have to be perfect. I've got that up there, that's uh, drill our pilot holes. Okay, now we have our panel installed and uh, these are number four, one half inch, round headed, uh, slotted uh, screws. Uh, just be careful when you put those in because they're kind of small and you don't want the screwdriver scarring up the plate. So all we do now is just come in and we'll plug our controller in and now we have our controller ready to go. Uh, now we need to run our local cable that runs from here over to our Zephyr and we'll be ready to run some trains. <laughs> 